one slide back. Yes, perfect. Welcome everyone and thank you for being here. My name is Emma and I'm going to present you Nordic views. Next, please. For two years now, you and I have been waiting to be here, to be on the brink of this historic moment, a moment where diversity of life, living, breathing ecosystems could be finally recognized as the life support system we depend upon. For two years now, we, young people from the Nordics, have been preparing for this moment, collecting views from almost 3,000 of our peers on the future they want, hopes of what could be, visions of a tomorrow worth working for. This speech is crafted from these visions, a call for action, a call for change, a space for hope. It is your choice, fellow dreamers, praised leaders, how you respond. Are you ready to stop the same? We, young people from the Nordics, dream about a world where each child and future leader would learn that life on planet Earth is changing, being changed by humanity. That change is inevitable, a threat, but also a possibility for a future where all of us can thrive. All of us meaning all of us people, but also all other forms of life. For humans are not alone on this planet, and we can never thrive alone. We need nature for water, food, air, shelter, even happiness. But of course, it is not enough to educate children and youth. Dear adults, you need to change as well. You need to learn new skills to become makers of the future and not fossils of yesterday. To dismantle old truths and create new ones. Future generations need you, adults of today, to create plans of how to survive this changing planet to learn skills to turn your businesses to work with nature, not against it, and to transform our societies to regenerate this planet and redistribute wealth. Youth need, youth need you, adults of today, to put your money into driving this change. Stop, stop funding the destruction of forests and burning of lands and start supporting each other, delivering funds to those on the ground. We want solutions like circular economy to shift our systems from competition to collaboration and from waste to continuous circulation. We want to re redefine well-being, to abandon the mantras of more, 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 bigger, 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 and shift to enough. We, young people from the Nordics, dream about a just future where all people could live meaningful lives and be proud of the work they do. A future where no one will be unwillingly driven from their home. So no mine dam building or protective area is worth more than a home. We, youth, future leaders, hopes of humanity, want justice. Not only demands of saving ourselves, no. We need power today to deliver the future we want. We want to sit in youth-led climate nature councils that will leverage youth voices into decision-making. We want to see youth delegates from all over the world joining these COPs and funding trickling down to the actors working on the ground. Until today, youth involvement in NBSOPs has been non-existent and this must change. We want justice. Therefore, indigenous peoples the protectors of land, shall be treated with respect. We shall not take their lands or destroy their cultures, for we need ancient wisdom to get out of this mess. Respecting human rights of all people must be at the heart of decision-making. The voices of indigenous peoples and local communities are key to decisions made about their lands. 
while money of richer nations is key to supporting implementation globally. We want justice, more than justice for human beings. We want justice for lands, rivers, mountains, forests, and oceans. We want nature to have the right to live, right to thrive, right to be respected. To protect nature from violence, we want ecocide to be recognized as a crime. And we desperately, desperately want to see a future where no child grows up never seeing a forest or believing that skies are hazy and waters black. We need thriving nature to play in, to grow our roots, to understand where we came from. We dream that by changing, the world could be a better place for all of us. A place where the water we drink and the food we eat would not be poisoned by pollution. We dream that by changing, the world could be a better place for all of us. A place where children would not have to fear for their futures, and neither would parents have to fear for their children. Dear fellow youth, we have beautiful dreams, not too big, not too unrealistic. Dear leaders, our dreams, our asks, are calls for action. We need you, we need action. Are you ready to be the leaders we need you to be? In case you want to uh, read more about our Nordic Youth Position paper on biodiversity, we have um, two of these <laughs> beautiful posters for you. But thank you for listening. <laughs>